Hello, Shalom. This is Pastor Joshua. I'm glad to see you on my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. And I believe God is going to bless you. Because you are doing the same work I'm doing. Hallelujah. I want also to remind you again that before you listen to this message, subscribe, share, like it, share as much as you can. You are preaching the gospel with me. Share on your Facebook, share on your WhatsApp. You can put it on your WhatsApp profile, WhatsApp status. Share on Instagram, TikTok. Ladies and gentlemen, let us preach the gospel. There is nothing you can do for the Lord Jesus apart from telling people that he was dead and is risen again. And he's living, he's sitting on the right hand of our Father in heaven. He's the King of Kings. He's the King. You know, let me let me even speak about this. Most of the people they think that Jesus is a prophet. Jesus is not a prophet. Jesus is a king. Remember of the shepherds who were turning their sheep, and when the angel of the Lord appeared unto them, this is the message he gave to them that today your king is born. He's a king. Isaiah, when he was prophesying, he talked about this. That behold unto us the child is born. Unto us the son is given. Now there is two statements there. A child is Jesus. And a son is Christ. Do not convince child and a son. They are very separate. Child is Jesus. A son is Christ. Now the statement says that behold unto us a child is born. Jesus was born. A son was given. Christ was given. Christ was there before the foundation of the earth. The Bible says, Behold the Lamb of the Lord, which was slain before the foundation of the earth. That is another gospel. That means that Jesus was dead before the foundation of the earth. Jesus' coming on this planet was just to accomplish what he had already started before the foundation of the earth. Pilate was asking Jesus, are you the king? And he said, yes. So if you are calling Jesus the prophet, you are decreasing him to the level of Muhammad, to the level of Moses, to the level of Elijah, to the level of all those prophets you know. He's a king. He is a king. So we are talking about what you know. Because the Bible says that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. He's the king. So that's why I worship. We worship whom we know. We worship the king who gave his life for me and for you, for your children, for generations and generations. And that's why we worship we lift his name up. We keep telling people that he's not dead anymore. He's risen. Hallelujah. I love to worship. I love to worship.
Bible says it. The, the day he was born, the angels was rejoicing in heaven. They were singing Hosanna, hallelujah, the King of Kings. So I want to remind you that the one you believe, his name is the King. That's why we come to the Lord to ask, to pray. Prayer is translated from a Greek word called petition. Prayer is a legal word if you put it in a petition. Petition is not a religious word. It's a legal word. This word is only used in a country, in a court, in the kingdom. Heaven is a country. It's the first country in existence. So whenever you come to the council or to the court to pray, you are petitioning. That means that you are simply demanding what belongs to you by your right. You cannot have rights unless you are a citizen. The Bible says that we do not belong unto this world. We are the citizen of heaven. This is in your Bible. You and me, we came from somewhere. We are just put into these bodies. The time will come, you and me, We'll go back home. We are the citizen of heaven. That's why we petition called prayer. Now, religion have told you that whenever you're going to pray, humble yourself, kneel down, cry, oh, speak whatever, praise God, kneel down. You no 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 no. You are demanding what belongs to you by the rights. By the rights. Get the constitution. Hold it in your hands. Speak. Speak. Basing on the constitution. Just open it according to the constitution, to the article written. On, on. Speak it out. Hallelujah. I'm so glad today that. God have been so good to me. God have been so faithful to my life. I have been disappointed by so many friends. I want to remind you that people will let you down. Your parents can let you down. Your brothers can let you down. They will disappoint you. They will always disappoint you. But there is only one person who will never let you down. It's God. I want to read the Bible. In my Bible, it is Matthew chapter 6, verse 5. Listen to this statement. And when you pray, what did he say? And when you pray, do not be like hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. I want to explain two statements here. When you pray, Jesus is demanding This is not an option. It means that you have to pray. He's not begging you to pray. He's telling you to pray. It is the must. It is compulsory. A Christian life. That do not be like hypocrites who stand in the synagogue. Now, synagogue was like um, was like a mall, like a trading center. It was not a church. In Israel, we had only one temple. 
only one temple. Now, synagogue, this is the place where everyone could come to find the news. If you want to know what is happening in the city, you have to go there and find the news from there. If you want to advertise your business, you have to go to synagogue. And this is where Jesus also went. Synagogue was the, the CNA of those days, was the BBC of those days, was Facebook of, the, of those days. Now, Pharisees used to stand in synagogue to pray, to make people look at them. Jesus is talking about it. He's preaching against that. When you pray, do not stand in the public to let people see you. Go hide yourself in a sacred place and ask God. Ask your Father who is in heaven. I have lived this life. I have tested this life. It has worked for me. When you put your names down and pray, God will never let you down. I don't know what is happening in your life right now. I don't know what you are going through. Maybe you are praying for the job. Maybe you are praying for marriage. Maybe you are praying for your children. Maybe you are praying for the financial breakthrough. Maybe you are praying, whatever you are praying for. I want to encourage you. Do not give up. People will talk. People will, 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 will measure the anointing upon your life. <clears throat> there are some people, they measure your intelligence by the foreign languages you speak. People will, will measure your understanding by your reasoning capacity. Don't listen to them. Don't. What is God telling you? Pray. Pray. Pray when you are sleeping. Pray even in the dream. Pray when you are working. Pray when you are walking. Pray for your children. Pray for your parents. Pray for your job. Pray for your future husband. Pray for your future children. Pray for your marriage. God will never let you down. Pray for your financial breakthrough. God will never let you down. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the message you just put on my mouth to speak before your people. I pray, Father, that you may bless them. Whoever is going to listen to this message, whoever is going to subscribe, share, I pray that you bless them. Bless each and everyone who is listening to me in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to remind you again that subscribe this message, share to your friends, share wherever, share everywhere, and God will bless you. Thank you so much. My name is Pastor Joshua. I love you all. Shalom. God bless you. Bye.